It really is amazing what praising can do. Greetings to you, my name is Tyler Candy and I am the executive producer of all the content that comes from Central Baptist Church. Thank you so much for watching today. Our pastor, my mentor, Dr. Brad Winninger, will be here in just one moment for our daily devotional from the shepherd to the sheep. And before he gets here, I just wanted to thank you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Thank you for liking them, for sharing them, and for commenting on them. It's great to have you guys' interaction on all of our videos. I want to also encourage you, continue to watch, continue to like, continue to share them with your family and friends, and continue to comment on the videos below. Tell us, how are these videos affecting you? How are they challenging you? How are they changing you in your Christian life? Uh, comment below, tell us how it is doing that. And for today, I want us to be able to listen to this revisited devotion about praising the Lord. It's amazing what praising can do. first hearing that song in our former pastorate and uh, our associate would uh, have that as a song as a remedy whenever uh, his children might have a little poochy lip or a little attitude uh, why he'd make them sing it's amazing what praising can do <laughs> and you know what it's impossible to sing that song very many times and not get that right attitude, that right spirit that we all ought to have. Now, we, we all have a, a poochy lip experience now and then. And we start thinking, you know, it's impossible. The challenge of life is just impossible. Why, living the Christian life is just impossible. When in reality, God enables us to be victorious in and through Jesus Christ. It says in Psalm 68, and verse number four, sing unto God, sing praises to his name. And that comes at the end of a passage that begins this way. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. I know another chorus that, that follows that. Let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melteth before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. It's not just that we should be singing or that we should be glad, but we should rejoice and not just rejoice, but we should exceedingly rejoice. So today, I don't know where you are in all of this progression, but we should be singing. We should be lifting up the Lord uh, from a song coming uh, from our, the depths of our soul, and we should be praising him. It's, it's impossible for us to be sour and have a bad spirit and a poochy lip experience when we're praising the Lord. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Everything that opposes the goodness of God in your life right now is less uh, powerful and less formidable than God is. God can take care of all those problems. He can dispel all the enemies, the world, the flesh, and the devil, for which we are so grateful. Praise the Lord. Today, you're going to face some enemies, folks. Tell your kids this. Tell your spouse. Tell your friends. You're going to face some enemies, but you can look them in the eye because Jesus Christ is our confidence. And uh, listen, they, they, may, they may give the appearance of hating you, but they hated Jesus first. And uh, there is perhaps no fear in their eye, no fear of God, but one day there will be a reckoning. And praise the Lord for the truth that we can rejoice 
and we can exceedingly rejoice today. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you that uh, it's amazing what praising can do. Thank you so much for the song that you put in our hearts. And today as we face the challenges of life, as these arise, Lord, we thank you that you can melt them just like wax. They can go away, Lord, no matter what it is. You're greater, you're more formidable than all of the enemies combined that come against us and against uh, anything good in our life. I pray, Lord, that today you'll show yourself powerful. And now while our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Savior, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right now, if you've never been saved, would you pray from your heart something like this? Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner and I deserve to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to save me. And right now I receive the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart as my personal Savior. Please take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed that prayer and meant it, won't you let us know so that we can rejoice with you? And if you're leading folks to Christ, please share that with us as well. We love to hear about people coming to God through Christ. While our heads are bowed, let's pray for others right now. Uh, you may know of someone right now that's got a big challenge that they're facing, but help them to trust Christ. Uh, right now, you may know somebody that's, uh, that's hurting on a bed of affliction, but let them trust the Lord. Lord, we thank you that you're bigger than our hurts, our problems, our burdens, our difficulties. Just meet all of them by your grace and for your glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So, it's amazing what praising can do. It's amazing what praising can do. Thanks for joining us today for our devotions.